how to become a multi-millionaire as a loan officer. Now you might think, how could I be a multi-millionaire D? Like I haven't met anyone that's made over 300,000 or $500,000 in a year as a loan officer. Well, you'd be surprised that there are actually many ways to create generational wealth. I'm talking about long-term wealth. You know, one of the common mistakes that I see loan officers making is they look at this job as kind of like a interim. This is just to get by for the time being. You're not actually looking at it with the true value that it actually holds. What other profession do you know where you can make six figures in a month if you get good at it? And you don't need really time to get good at it. What you really need is a mentor. You really need someone who is at the level that you wanna reach because they've already made the mistakes that you're about to make. And so if you could learn from them and you can really kind of pick their brain, then you could avoid all the mistakes that they made and you could really fast track your way to success. But anyway, going back to the topic, how to become a multimillionaire as a loan originator. Of course, it takes time to build up your network. It takes time to build up your book of business, but you need to look at it for the really meat and bones of it. And what I'm talking about is this as an opportunity to create massive income so that you have so much revenue, so much income that you don't know what to do with it. I'm not saying don't treat yourself to the Gucci flip flops. Don't treat yourself to the nice suits, the fancy watch, the nice car, right? Of course, do that because you work hard. You earn that boo boo, do that. But what I'm saying is that you get to a point where you already have that. So when you get really good at this game, you get so good to where you have so much income that it doesn't make any sense to actually keep it parked in the bank. And that's really where you wanna get at because if you have so much income coming in where it actually hurts you to sit on that money, and believe me, I grew up in the hood, bro. Like I know, like always save for a rainy day, the shit may not last. And that's something that you really gotta learn to get over. You have to kind of build that thick skin and understand that when you really get good at this, you're gonna survive in any market. Here's how you become a multimillionaire as a loan originator. You have to learn how to make your money work for you. And it's not parking it in a bank that's giving you 25 basis points for holding your money. Cause that bank is taking your money and they're loaning it out at 18, 20%. So instead, park that money in something that actually gives you return. I myself, I park it in real estate, right? I don't really know too much about stocks, bonds, crypto or anything like that. But what I do know is real estate. And I do know that at my age and at the time you're watching this video, my wife, my family, we're not gonna have social security. I don't have a pension to rely on. So what I can do is control what I'm going to face in five to 10 years from now, which is another mistake mistake that a lot of loan officers make. You're only thinking in the next month from now. You're only thinking about getting to the top of that leaderboard and getting that reward. F the reward, bro. Get to a point where you got income coming in to where you gotta park that bitch elsewhere. Whether it's in real estate or whether you build a side business or whether you put money to work for you. And I'm talking about not, you know, buying a fancy car, you know, people buy Rolls Royces and McLarens and, and with the intention to sell that bitch for much more money. I'm not about that, right? Like I got a nice car and that's cool. But what I'm trying to do is build money in an area where I could park it in real estate and I got people that will pay me my mortgage payment. So they cover my mortgage payment. I get the nice tax write off. I get the nice equity growth in the property. But once that property is paid off, guess who gets all the revenue from that property? Your boy. And I want that for you too. You see, to build generational wealth, you have to think beyond just this month. You know, a lot of people, they make money and then they go buy something expensive and then they're right back to level one or they're right back to square one. 
I know I was that person for a very long time. So take my advice from the old dude with gray hair telling you to think beyond that, bro. Like go beyond the fact that you don't need that Rolex. You don't need that Rolls Royce, that SUV, you know what I mean? If you're still renting right now and you don't even own a home, but you got a fucking $300,000 whip that you're parking inside your apartment complex, you're doing it wrong, bro. You know, don't look at this as the interim. Don't look at this as kind of like something to get over until you figure things out until you get older. Because what you're doing right now while you're young and while you're building your business is you're building your book of business that's gonna feed you for years and years to come. And when you become a professional in this sport, then you can start accumulating so much revenue that you actually get to redirect it in areas that actually turn that money into more money whether it's in real estate whether it's in businesses whether it's in you know uh, acquiring businesses or or hiring people to create content for you you know a lot of people ask me like hey d how do you build a brand right like you know you're lucky because you know you already have so many followers i didn't start with that many followers i had to build up for that you know i had to make i had to put myself out there i had to get comfortable in being uncomfortable but I understood the return because I understand the leverage that social media has. And too many people are so scared to start, right? That's why you're probably relying on realtors to get you leads is because you're scared to actually be the person with the leads. And that just matters on you actually paying money and investing in yourself. You know how many people want to consume my free content? Like I got a free community right now for loan officers to help them scale up their business. You know what I mean? Fuck DMs I get of people asking me, well, hey D, you know, uh, well, you know, is this meant for, you know, call center LOs? Is this meant for just broker LOs? Like, bro, it's free. Go fucking check it out, bro. I think that's probably the biggest challenge is that most people stand in their own way and you gotta get out of your fucking way so that you can accumulate so much fucking money that you park that bitch in avenues that create more fucking cash flow. Don't put it in the bank. Get so rich where you could do both. So you could park the money, create more wealth, and grow equity in the property, right? Grow equity in future streams of income, create multiple streams of income, open up a fucking side hustle, open up a side business, or be the fucking richest person at the bar. Be the only motherfucker that has a Versace shirt and Versace Supreme underwear. Who the fuck are you impressing right now, bro? You gotta get to a point where you get money and you move in fucking silence. I'm here in my fucking PJs right from the fucking gym. I don't give a fuck about showing you Versace. You know what I care about? I care about putting my kids in a position, putting my wife in a position, putting me in a position to where we don't even need Versace because we live in comfortable as some old retiree people that's living life and have multiple streams of fucking income because I'm not relying on social security. I'm not relying on pension. I'm not relying on fucking handouts. I'm not relying on who the fuck the president is. I'm relying on my goddamn self. And that's exactly what the fuck you need to do. So do that shit now. If you appreciate this video, you understand my impression, fuck like it and follow me for more. Now it's your time to hit the thumbs up if this video helped you. I love engaging with you in the comment section below. Lastly, please share this video with someone else that can benefit from this topic. Thanks for subscribing. Look out for the notification for my next video and I'll see you there.